as I've mentioned before, a really good place to start with this four tab is centered on the back, low, about the level of the bottom of the shoulder blades. But that's not always the best position. So um, I just want you guys to know that there's a lot of options here. I like to set the four tab position based on how well it's reducing the subluxation and, and comfort. Uh, as an example, maybe a guy who has got a really big heavy arm and this position isn't doing a great job of reducing the subluxation, we can take this four tab and we can run it way up over here. Be careful to keep it off the spine of the scapula. Put it over the belly of the, the infraspinatus. And that might do a better job of reducing the subluxation than, as I've mentioned before, you can lock, you can lock it in place once you get it there. You can lock it in any of these positions. The things to watch out for, and this is all a balance, is the further over this way I get, the more likely this strap is to slip off the shoulder or the more likely the elbow, and as you can see here, the elbow is starting to slip out of, of the elbow pocket. So if I have a person with really rounded shoulders and the strap keeps falling off their shoulder or we're having problems containing the elbow, then I might want to do just the opposite. I might want to come way over to the other side, maybe not as high, but down here, and then you see I've got a better angle of pull, so I'm capturing the elbow better, and the line of pull, instead of being coming down here, it's coming more towards the center, so it's less likely to slip off of the shoulder. The important thing is I don't, you almost never want to have this up on the base of the neck. Then we got the, we're weight bearing on the base of the neck, the way the arm is being sort of the base, supported by the base of the neck, and that's something we don't want. So just to know that you can slide this around wherever you'd like it to be, and then lock it in place. Again, to lock the four tab, very simple. You just thread the webbing through the four tabs of this buckle. That's two, three, and four. And there we're locked in place. 